வளர்த்துக்கலாம் எந்த மாதிரி யூஸ் பண்ணா எந்த மாதிரி வளர்த்துக்கலாம் வி கேன் சி இன் தெகண்ட் பார்ட் Thank you, sir. Does he came to know about the clear idea about the language and its structure and what problems are facing. For these queries, he is having some ideas which everyone can follow in the second part. Sir, I would like to know how to communicate with others without any fear. Um, our main motto of this webinar is that anyone can speak English fluently like a native speaker. In day-to-day -day life, we are facing fear, uh, even though we know English, but uh, we don't know how to speak without any fear. Can you please share your uh, some points? Yes, ma'am. Surely, because nowadays all the people have been facing to speak because they want to overcome the fear. If they not overcoming the fear, they will never able to speak. So I am having one video. Just uh, we can see that video. So once the video gets over, you will be getting some clear idea about how to overcome the fear and how to have confidence in our life. Confidence isn't walking into a room thinking that you're better than anyone. It's walking in knowing that you don't have to compare yourself to anyone. Comparing yourself to another person, that isn't even in your system. There's no thought of comparison. There is no competition with any other human. You are not above anyone. You are not below anyone. That's confidence. When you can get to the place in your life where comparison is dead, where you are good enough, not to others, but to yourself, that is confidence. And you can be good enough right now because you are good enough right now. You might just need to change your mindset. Confidence can be developed in many ways. You can start with your physiology, your posture. If I asked you what a confident person looked like, would you be able to tell me? Of course you would. They look strong, sure of themselves. How are they standing? They're standing tall. How are their shoulders? They are back, upright. They make eye contact. Their head is up, not down. Now a shy or introverted person might say, "Yeah, well, that's all good for outgoing people, but I will never be confident." Anyone can develop confidence. Some might have to work on it harder than others because they've conditioned themselves into a lack of confidence for much of their life. But anyone can develop confidence. Even the majority of shy people have moments where they aren't shy. like around people they trust maybe family friends or their partner moments where they can be themselves fully so the shyness is selective which means you can make confidence permanent if you consciously decide to be the person and do the things you do not just around those you trust the most but all the time being confident doesn't mean you're loud It isn't about being the one that has to be noticed. It's the opposite. It's knowing you're great without having to be seen. It's the silent winner. It's the humble champion. If you lack confidence, you can change. If you lack anything, you can change. You can be anything in life, including radical personality change if you are committed to finding the answers. Unlock the greatest version of yourself. Your true nature of confidence, of pure positive energy. Unlock your authentic power today. Thank you, ma'am. So as we have seen 
as we have seen a video about the confidence and you will be getting a clear idea of what confident really means so by watching this video you will be getting some points uh, like confidence na namme namme uruvaakkara maadhiyum illa or nambikka varra maadhiyum it should have affected any one of the people so confidence is nothing but what we can train ourselves seringla so or vishayam pandrathukku munadi what we will be really doing na adu correct ah thappu nu theriyadhu but we want to do those things right so when we want to do those things we have to create a confidence in that same while the language are got so it's a seven letter word and the in the seven letter word is a word which uh, interpret interprets or otherwise it is a word which wants many of the speakers or many of the people to change this life or as well as this seven letter word had changed many of the people's life or career yeah apdi pathina because they have a confidence in the confidence irukaranal mattum da they can able to create their own atmosphere and also they can able to create their own life in this society so that is the one thing i want to say because create your own level of confidence ninge eppadi nu ungalku mattum dhaan theriyum so you have to create your level of confidence and the second part is uh, self motivation so self motivation is nothing but you have to make yourself more comfortable yaar mattavanga enna mattavanga nammala enna solranga nu don't ever think you have to create your own uh, self motivation ninga ungalku self motivation kudutha mattum dhaan you can easily able to identify the mistakes what you are making you can able to realize what you are doing and also you can easily develop this language so andha mari part varumbodhu there is a third part called mirror mirror facing the mirror so these are the topics which i want to discuss first how to overcome the fear the overcome fear ku edu maximum adhigama thevai padunu paathina first one is confidence and second one is self motivation and third one is mirror mirror me kannadi kannadi vachu ivan enna solla poran you might think but mirror plays a major role so for example uh, if you are well versed in english language and you are going to present a paper uh, or if you are going for an interview everything is fine but what you are going to do really is you are just going to present but you have a confidence you have a confidence to uh, you have a confidence to uh, present a paper but when you stand before the crowd as usually you will be forgotting all the things right so andamma irukumbod what you have to do is stand before the mirror and stand practice what all the things you are going to say stand before the mirror and say in your own words present a paper before the mirror because mirror is not going to hurt 